Hey guys, it's Femi here from New Persona once again. We are going to be doing a Fit Pro Convo with my man Mark Robson over here. I am honored. Like today is going to be a great, great conversation. It's going to be focused more on on health, wellness, fitness, um, training philosophies that you can use in the gym to kind of get really outstanding results. But before we even get into that, I wanted to have Mark share who he is and talk about his background and, and maybe we could talk about how we know each other too. Yeah, of course. Um, I've been in the fitness industry probably, geez, going on 2001, so about 15 years now. Uh, I started at a retail fitness store, so I actually used to sell the fitness equipment. Uh, it was my first real job out of high school. My parents said, get a job or you're out of the house. So it turns out that uh, this fitness store next to Extreme Fitness started working there, uh, became manager, made some good money, collected a, a good bit of equipment in the four years I was there. Uh, and I realized, you know, um, my passion was fitness and something that I was really skilled at was sales. Yeah. So eventually I decided, well, how can I take this further? I want to work for myself and I want to do something a little more rewarding. Yeah. And, and I just always found that selling the equipment wasn't enough. I actually liked helping people, yeah. teaching people how to use the equipment, helping them get results. So, you know, I took my passion of fitness and what I was good at sales. And eventually I decided it was time to uh, start my own business to start training people. So you, you did it. It's funny because like most people that are in the fitness industry, like even me, myself, I never had the sales background to begin with. Yeah. You know, like I started off in the gym. You know, I started off with my passion in the gym, but I didn't acquire my understanding of sales and marketing and stuff. You like, built it as you went. As yeah, you yeah went like along. way later on. So like that's a different approach. It's a huge bonus knowing how to build the equipment, how to repair the equipment, what all the equipment does. I mean, it's it's definitely a head start I had over most people that get into this industry. So. So let's 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 tell tell our friends over here like how did we meet like what was what's what's our connection? Uh, a gentleman by the name of Ajamu, uh, he was our kettlebell instructor, yeah. and uh, yeah, we did a kettlebell certification course together. I think back in probably two thousand eight, maybe two thousand and nine. And uh, I think we, we took the train home together and yep. had some good conversations and we kept in touch. We offered each other a little bit of advice going forwards over the years. And uh, yeah, here we are today, still still talking, still helping each other out and still learning from each other. I think it's, it's, it's amazing just how with time you don't know where you'll end up in, in life and business and these types of things. And today's conversation, which is both of our passions, which is yeah. like fitness and health, it's funny because... I used to do podcasts and stuff a long time ago for mainly like the radio, but I figured bringing the visual piece to it, it can kind of create the connection yeah. you know, between a lot of the... Lot and that's, that's exactly what personal training is, right? You've yeah. got to put personal before training. If you don't have that strong connection with your clients, build that friendship, uh, it doesn't matter what you do. They're, they're not going to get the results. You need to have that connection with your clients. So. Very true. I never even thought of that. So that, that, thanks for sharing that. Personal before training. Yeah, personal before training. So let's, let's get into the... The meat. You know, okay. I, I've seen the meat of potatoes, like the, the real meaty part. Let, let's talk about training concepts. You yep. know, I'll talk about the, the concepts I have for training, okay. you know, and then I want you to talk about your concepts and then let's just kind of let everyone feel what they what they can grasp from that conversation. Sounds good. Now, for, for New Persona, I had an amazing conversation earlier this morning with, with another gentleman who runs like a health and spa and like wellness type environment. And... We're talking about the three areas that I focus on when it comes to training, yep. right? I focus on flexibility and mobility. You know, the, the importance of understanding joint stability, range of motion, and how tissue is supposed to move through life, Yep. right? That's, that's like one area we focus on. Um, another area is like strength and hypertrophy. Like yep. what are you doing to build the strength? Let's say you want to improve posture. You need to do things to improve that area of things. Um, and then lastly, heart health and endurance. Like that's that's a kind of like our three hub spoke that we kind of focus on. So I want to hear a little bit about yeah, you. It's, it's pretty much the same as ours. We have four because we include nutrition in there as well. Yeah. But it's the same sort of uh, the same four aspects. I mean, you have your strength and endurance. So you building your lean muscle, laying the groundwork. You have the cardiovascular, your heart, your health, uh, your flexibility training, and then the nutritional aspect of it. Those are the the four components of fitness, and they need to be incorporated into every single person's routine. Some yeah. a little more so than others. Uh, in our facility, we're not going to spend too much time 
putting a client on a treadmill or a bike, when people come to do, you know, whether it's group classes, whether it's personal training, yeah. they're here to spend time with their trainer. So our focus is definitely a lot more on the resistance training yeah. and a lot more on the flexibility training and educating them on nutrition. We can tell them to go out for walks, to go out for bike rides, to go swimming, to, yeah. to play with their kids, to be as active as possible yeah. on a regular basis. And if we are going to incorporate cardio into our workouts, we're going to do circuits yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. So circuits. So, okay. What would you say is like the main hub of your programs? Like for us, it's interesting that I'm happy that like, yeah. we can have these conversations because like our main focus for programs is creating that group, that culture, that tribe. Yeah. You know, that tribe. Community. Yeah, yeah. the community can embody and motivate people to move forward. So, like what would you say like your main thing is, like your hub that makes you guys different? You know, it, it, I think the reason why we've had such popularity over the years is because of the community we have really built here. Yeah. Um, all of our members here, when they come, they have the time of their lives, they make friends, we constantly throw parties, we hold events, we do charity events, and it's like the whole community, all of the members come out for it, and we've just built a really, really solid foundation. Uh, without our members, we definitely wouldn't be where we are today. Yeah. I can step away for weeks on end, come back here, and know the place is running fine. Wow. We've got a good staff, you know, 10 of us, we have an amazing uh, members, clients, and uh, they really just keep the place going. It's, it's referral-based. Their friends come, their family come, and it just grows, 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 and grows. Yeah, yeah. So in terms of the training, we really try to mix in the cardio and the strength. Yeah. Um, you know, you want that full body workout. We don't do a lot of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as leg, back, shoulders. We don't do that here. It's yeah. functional, full body movements yeah. every single session. And we really, really promote that and preach that in our classes as well as our personal training sessions. There was There's a story that I had about one of our members. And... I actually want you to share okay. a story of transformation that you've seen with one of your members. And I want you to, to talk about the impact it had on your life. Because there's usually, and I'm, I'm probably I'm playing around with a couple things in my head right now oh, at the man. same time as I'm saying it. There's usually a member that you might have seen that triggered or created that ripple effect that yep. produced what we see now. Like there's always like one member where you're like. She's, uh, she's going to hate me for saying her name, but it was definitely Sarah Bevilacqua. Okay. Um, Sarah. Uh, she did create that exact ripple effect. Uh, I took her on training, personal training, about a year and a half ago, and she dropped an incredible amount of weight. We're talking upwards to 70 pounds in wow. a very short period of time, and we did it all through boot camp classes she was doing every day. She was doing two personal training sessions with me a week, wow. and we had her on a very good, healthy uh, nutritional plan. I'm not going to say a diet because we don't really believe in diets here. Nutritional plan is we knew how much calories she was eating roughly yeah. uh, and we really stuck to the major food groups, the healthy foods, and eliminated all sugar from her diet. But the members saw her results and because she's such a staple, she's such a, a, a strong personality and a well-known person yeah. at this club, everybody was just like, holy crap, what the heck is Sarah <laughs> doing? I want to do it. Yeah. And after after her, um, you know, her training and her testimonial, the people, the other members just kept signing up. So many different members wow. would sign up for more personal training, more personal training. And from there, this past year in January, we decided to do a 60 day challenge, weight loss challenge. We did similar meal plans to what Sarah was on yeah. and everybody had X amount of classes they could do. And it was a big, huge, friendly competition. And man, I think we lost like over, mm -hmm. it, was, it was some ridiculous number in the thousands between all the members, but every single member was losing 20 to 30 pounds and wow. it was fun. But total ripple effect, and it was yeah, it was really Sarah that kind of got that that whole thing started for us. You know what I Hi, find? Sarah. <laughs> thank, Hi. You, thank, thank you, thank you, Sarah. thank you. You you help manifest what we see here today, and it's it's funny because I I think of <laughs> I think of even like in my case, you know, which which member pushed me to create this concept of a tribe, you yeah. know, which member pushed me to pursue training in the first place, and who was yours? If I were to think of which member triggered me to, to create new persona, there was share this. There is one man named Ian Headley. When I was in high school, I used to play football. We played yeah. like league football, high school football, and my shin snapped in half. And I was in a full leg cast for six to eight months. I never forgot this. I was in a full leg cast and I used to wheel myself to the gym. And I was doing pull ups in the gym from the wheelchair and they're just seeing this kid with a broken leg do pull-ups and you're like what am i doing what am i doing and that triggered me to be able to train teachers in high school i was like 16 then so i was training teachers in my high school 
and then my friends were like, who is this guy? And I started training some of my friends in high school. And this one teacher I had, I remember the conversation. He's like, why don't you turn this into a brand? Like, what would you call this? And I remember sitting there at night, sketching on paper, like, what would I call it? Like, what's the name? And I came up with New Persona. It was called New Persona Fitness at that point in time because I had the vision of just fitness. That's funny how things come back full circle because now we say we're fitness coaches, trainers, consultants. But the vision I have of the new version of you, yeah. you know, and I kind of embodied that from that day. And that's what actually got me into working in a gym in Extreme when I was 18. And like it, that ripple effect put me into York and kinesiology and like made me do corporate programs and, and sitting here yeah. talking to you. Like I was 18 when I took the 18 or 19 when I took the kettlebell course. Yeah. You know, like you're still young. Like that ripple effect started from that one conversation I had with that, that man. And, you know, thank you. I have, I'm going to send it. He actually is my, my high school thank teacher. You. Yeah, like, thank you, high school teacher. Like you, I go back to that school and I do seminars, right? That's where it all started. You know, and I literally tell him, I'm like, you created this. So we had a brief intermission, but we're back. And By intermission, he means battery failure. Battery complete failure, reboot, but we're here right now. Better angle. I love it. <laughs> so we're going to get back into the swing of it, finishing up nice, tight area of what we're talking about is core values, takeaways for people that aren't members that they can gain some value and inf information straight off the bat. Yeah, I, I really think the most important thing, being a member or a client, going to a facility to train, you need to have fun. So you need to be with people in an environment you're going to enjoy and you're going to want to go to on a regular basis. Because at the end of the day, routine is the most important thing. You want to get up in the morning. At some point in the day, you want to go to the gym and work out. If you look at exercise as something you don't want to do, you're likely not going to do it. So find an atmosphere of a place that you like. Find people that you like to train with. Have fun. Get results. And stay consistent. So my tidbit is consistency is the one thing that rules everything across the board. There was one blog that I'm going to probably put at the bottom of the video, which talks about the 1% rule. So if you consistently build on yourself 1% every single day, that's 360 what percent growth a year. Like think of that value. Think of that compounded interest you can have towards health, towards lifestyle, towards where you want to go in almost anything in life. So this is going to be the ending of our Fit Pro Convos. I want to thank Mark for being here thank with you, me today. Man. Thank you, you know, It's been a pleasure. We're at his beautiful facility. If you're in Ajax and you want to get an amazing workout, come by, check out his spot. This group fitness facility just opened last Monday, so yeah. definitely come by. Give us a shout. We'll give you a seven-day trial pass. Plug! All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So once again, it's Femi here from New Persona. Hope you're having a great day, and I will see you on the other side. Mark, thank it's you It's been a pleasure, again. my friend. Have Thanks, guys. One. See you. That's it. Awesome. Blooper! <laughs> <laughs> that was a much better ending. I think so too. Please, <laughs> please. Much better angle too. Uh, why did we only find that after the thing messed up? Like, <laughs> well, at least I know now to continue with the top down angle. Yeah. I would have said it. I thought you wanted that real in close angle, but. Uh, I actually wanted the top down angle.